Hey guys, this is Candy Messy Silver over at Royal Apple Theory, and today I decided to make some bubble bars. Um, I cannot share the recipe with you because the recipe belongs to the owner of Two Wild Hairs. I purchased this recipe from her because I tried two other recipes before, and one was just too oily, and the other one was too dry. So I've heard great things about her recipe, and I said, you know what? It's worth the $19.99, so I'm just gonna buy it and. It makes beautiful dough for bubble bars. So, um, I doubled the batch here. And um, I'm going to color each one of these a different color. So, she uses a, a stand mixer in which I do not have because I don't have a purpose for it at this moment. But if these start selling well, then I will. <laughs> I already made uh, one smaller batch. I just want to do and see how well that worked. And it worked out lovely. This one I did tweak a little bit because I wanted it to have just a wee bit, a uh, um, little bit of oil in it, glycerin. So, I did tweak it. And then she does give directions on... Um, glycerin use based on the area you live in like if it's really dry or if it's really humid so I thought that was pretty brilliant and thank you so um, I'm going to go ahead and oh and substitution for not having a stand mixer you can use just a hand blender so I'm going to go ahead and get started so I have this bucket here hope you guys can see that and I'm going to go ahead and crumble this up in there and um, I am going to mix this first color in pink, bright pink. And I'm going to use uh, some lake, some powdered lake for this one. So I'll probably, nope, I did this bath backwards. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just take a wee bit of this out and put it into another one. I'm trying to avoid washing my container. <laughs> Lazy, yeah. <laughs> But, so, I'm just going to go ahead and do my yellow first. Yellow, green, orange, and then uh, hot pink. Or yellow, green, hot pink, then orange. So, I'm going to put a few drops of liquid leg dye. And it's just based on how dark or light you want it, really. So, what I like to do is just kind of get in there and hand stir. Just with, you know, one of the beaters. Mix things around. Hopefully you can see in there. I just wish I had a camera uh, tripod with a long neck, like extendable neck. That would be great, but I don't. So, therefore, just have to work with what you got. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and mix that. And I'm going to fast forward it because you guys, I'm sure, don't want to sit here and watch me just uh, stirring this. But I just want to tell you what method I was going to use to mix them before I, um, you know what I mean. <laughs> before I got started. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward that and I'll talk to you guys in a second. this totally looks like egg yolk <laughs> but um because i don't have a stand mixer um i can only mix so much before i need to stop and start uh kneading by hand and as you saw me i would turn the uh, hand mixer off and then kind of go around that was just to get anything that was stuck around the sides out and back in so it can get mixed in well so this is the color that I want it most definitely and I can already tell that I do like uh, my adjustment a little bit better than was before because it was it was nice but my biggest fear is it might take a wee bit longer to dry out so that's why I decreased the amount of uh, vegetable glycerin it's just really all based on where you live too because you guys know that it's always like food and humid in my house and hot so I had to adjust it for that and like I said she did give um, um, adjustments based on the area that you live in, the type of climate you have where you live. So, um, I will, for any of you who are interested in purchasing her recipe, I heard about this some, like, I think a year ago. Katie of Royalty Soap had purchased it, and I was just like, man, I'm just going to try to figure out my own, but honestly, 
save yourself the trouble and just purchase it you got a foolproof um, bubble bar recipe and it's not even worth the headache it's gonna pay for itself in the end so it's just best to go ahead and buy it so I'm just kind of kneading some of the you know it together so I can get um, all that white out of there this is a brilliant yellow I love this and it's gonna color nicely because leg dyes just color so much better than micas um so that's what I like to use but you don't have to use a whole lot no I did want this a little bit brighter so I did add a little bit more but honestly you don't have to use a lot because it colors the water just fine just a few drops colors the water very very nicely so um I tend to like to use those in my bath bombs as well just because um they they color the bath water really really well so now that I have this color done I'll do one more color let you guys see and then I'll just turn the camera off and do the rest and come back okay so there's my yellow love that color and then next we'll do green so go ahead and crumble that up in there like I said I'm doing it in order based on the color just like you would with a so making um just to avoid washing so many dishes you just go from the lightest to the darkest and then you don't have to keep using different containers so for this color because i don't have any green lake i'm going to use neon green food coloring just because it works and i do like the color that the color payoff Ew. you don't have to worry about um and that weird noise was me struggling to get the cap off <laughs> So you don't have to worry about um, this recipe with if you use food coloring sticking to the sides of the tub or you know any funkiness because um, it does have polysorbate in it so I do appreciate that which is um, an emulsifier which causes colorants to disperse in water so no problems there. Alright so let me get my one blendy thingy. You might have to use a little bit more, but it's kind of hard to tell when you're first mixing. Go ahead and scrape that off the rim or the bottom, not the rim, the bottom of the container. The reason why you guys are seeing me do these videos, um, like I did the bath bomb last week and um, <laughs> the um, these bubble bars this week is because I just got so much stuff going on guys that I just don't have time to edit my soap making video so I figured I didn't want to leave you guys without so I would just do something simple and you would still get to see something and I would be able to buy myself a little bit more time <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the other attachment on here and oh this like this blender here is like old and busted up you know it's just like ancient I only use this for uh, handmade soap uh, products and things like that too um if you do have an old hand blender then hand mixer use that instead of the one that you cook with all right so i'm gonna go ahead and blend this up that done and also guys I didn't tell you um, I found that because I was using a more shallow bowl uh, if you don't have a stand mixer and you have to use a hand mixer it's best to use a deep container because the uh, hand mixer has a tendency of throwing uh, <laughs> your bubbles uh, your bubble dough out of the container and onto everywhere so I decided to use this deeper bucket here because it just works nicer and I don't have some, like particles flying everywhere so that's the reason for so you guys already saw me do this so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward and then um, when I'm done I will come back back 
second I have all of these um, all mixed as far as colors and needed and everything I want them to be clean it up just a little bit and now I'm going to have my pink as my outer layer just because no rhyme or reason it's really a preference so one thing I am going to do is just dust and if they get a little bit dry or um, stiffer on the outside because these were mixed first just knead it a little bit and then um, I guess the warmth through your hand to put them back into pliable I mean if they're not you know hard or anything like that it's just I can feel them drying out just a teensy bit because this one is still nice because they've been sitting while I've been needing the other colors so I have a wee bit of a um, baking soda sitting here which I've popped other colors in so I'm trying to clear that out so just do like you would if you were baking just a light dusting enough don't go nuts okay of baking soda just prepping your your um your area so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of roll this out the way I want it to be kind of like the lint and I know too like this fan being on is just not helping <laughs> it's kind of drying it out a little bit but it is uh, a scorcher today so it had to be on or I would have possibly passed out in here all right so I'm just gonna try to get this you know the length I want it and I probably should turn this fan off until I'm done just because I know this is not helping my dough at all and I don't want this to be too dry so I'm gonna just keep on doing that and I squeeze them together and push it out and I really did not mix in this pink all that great but um, I stuck my hand in the bag of the pink because it was the last bit and I don't waste anything so I just got streaks of pink that I could not mix in but ooh, well that it's fine all right so now that I've done that I'm going to take just a teensy like a pinch and then sprinkle it on top oh geez just me turning the air uh, the fan off just that fast I'm like roasting but I'll survive and um, also I was gonna say oh <laughs> I need another sheet of parchment paper which I had one and who knows what in the hell but I did with it so let me just grab another one if I can find it I don't know what I did with it and kitty you're gonna have to wait you have to wait I can't hold you okay I'm sorry just hold on buddy it's like every time I come in here he just gets super spoiled and wants to be held and I just can't do it okay so here's my other piece of parchment paper I hope you guys can see but I kind of needed to have it to the edge so when I roll it out I'll have enough room and if you have a rolling pin that would be great if you don't use your hands and just kind of you know mash it out to where you want it to be I know I'm moving the camera and everything <laughs> let me move that back a little bit I hope you guys yeah you guys are going to probably be a little bit out of view um maybe I can lift it a little bit yeah like that and then once you get it rolled I probably should clean some of this stuff off this table because it's stuff falling everywhere but once you get it rolled out just lift your paper and and this is the reason why because like when it gets thin it'll come up with the paper and that is not what we want okay there we go all right so what is this darker color I got in here oh gosh this big old glove of green Oh, it doesn't matter because this is actually my inside of my um my inside so it doesn't matter so now I'm going to clean off my scraper push that down and push it back in just to try to give it a little bit of shape no nope. you know guys okay like that it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna take the rolling pin to it again anyway so Matter of fact, I'll take this and lay it here. Oh, that smells so good. And I'm going to tell you guys, this is fragrance. Um, I don't remember if I told you that. It's fragrance and monkey parts. And it, that always smells so good. And for those of you who don't know what it smells like, it's like bananas and pineapples and peach and all kinds of good stuff. So, let me get that out of the way. 
All right, so now I have a wee bit more room. Telling you guys, I didn't know what happened to my cellophane. I remember I didn't use, I mean, my cellophane, my other piece of freezer paper. I didn't use cellophane. I keep saying cellophane. <laughs> I didn't use freezer paper because I wanted to use cellophane because I like to be able to see through it. And I know a lot of people don't have cellophane, but if you do have some, it's good to see through and it doesn't stick as much. So now that I have that layer on there, cut that under. And don't worry about the edges being not neat or whatever because that's going to be all squashed in. So, my next layer is going to be green. Or do I want green? Gotta think about that for a second. Because that is a very bright color. Yeah, okay, it's not going to be green. It's going to be yellow. Yes. And then I'll do my peach. And then I'll do my green because, I don't know, I always think like, I don't like to put two light colors together. I like to keep uh, them separate. That way, I don't know, it just gives it more contrast to me. So, it's kind of rolling this out again. Um, I would like that to be a wee bit longer. But I knew it was going to break, so don't worry if it's not going all the way to the edges. That's absolutely fine, because you're going to do the same thing. Just kind of mash it out. And I put mine in the middle. That way I can be sure that I'm going to get it spread, you know, everywhere evenly. <sighs> yeah, ever since I turn. Because <laughs> I do have my air on, but I have it on low. Because I told you in my house, either you sweat to death or you freeze to death. It's one of the two. There's no in-between. So, um, now that I've turned the ceiling fan off, the dough has gotten, you know... Uh, pliable again and it wasn't hard to begin with it was just I could feel that it was getting a little bit uh, stiff so and I took my gloves off because they were kind of gross and I had um, ripped a hole in it with my fingernail so what was really the purpose in wearing those <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna go and sprinkle just a wee bit more of this uh, baking soda on top just the pinch is all that's needed and then I'm going to lay my cellophane back over it and just scrape whatever stuck to my fingers with the scraper. Oh, this smells so good, guys. Oh, I love the smell of Monk Sparks. I love, love, love this fragrance. It's just so fruity and just so fun. So if you're into fun, fruity fragrances, Monkey Farts is a must-have. layer on here and I've just been kind of rolling it out and I want to bring you guys back so um it's okay I knew that the uh, last two colors weren't going to be as um why is the other ones that's fine who cares um I knew it was going to be that way so no big deal um all you got to do is keep tucking your edges and the last, once you get all four colors on, or however many colors you're using, that's when you can go ahead and kind of roll it out as thin as you want it. And I just kind of keep leveling off my edges. Not too much, because your first layer is going to be thinner than the rest, just because you're constantly rolling it. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle that again. And then um, roll some more. 
and after that I'll be able to roll it up so lay that back over there try to roll this out towards this way a little bit more since I know I noticed that uh, most of uh, I know I'm like shaking you guys all up sorry about that oh my goodness I got too much stuff on this table y'all I think that should be pretty good. I think I'm really going to like this. Stop rolling towards the edge so much. Because I still got to thin it out because it is kind of thick in the center. But I don't want to keep thinning out my edges so much. So, I think that should be good. And I feel like this pink is broken. No. Okay. So that is it. Now it's time to start rolling. And I would like to roll with my cellophane as well. That way you can see through it. But I'll see if I can transfer it without making too much of a mess. So, like I said, it's fine if it's not completely, you know, shaped. Because um, I can cut it off, but I really don't care. You know, I don't want to do that. So. Let me put my, how am I going to do this? Hmm. I was going to flip it over, but then I want my pink to be on my outside. So, I'm not going to be able to roll in this cellophane, but I guess it doesn't matter at this point. So, now I'm going to go ahead and start rolling it. Now, I am not a professional roller because I've never rolled sushi a day in my life. But, um... You kind of get the concept. It's still it's kind of just like rolling sushi. So I knew like this because I rolled it so thin It was going to start to pull off, but if it does that's fine Just go ahead and use your scraper and kind of stick it back on there And then just add a little bit of um, Baking soda to it as well as you're rolling And kind of push it back together where you know it kind of broke loose a little bit so, only thing is to get it to stop sliding across the table. So as you're rolling, kind of smooth it out. And then pull your paper back some more. And it's good to have a scraper on hand because you're going to need it. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. So each roll, every time I roll it up, I just add a little bit more baking soda, just a nice little sprinkle. And then I'm going to go ahead and push that in as well. And then as you're rolling, you know, um, just a little bit, you want to kind of tuck your ends in. And if you don't have a scraper, you can use like a melted pour soap cutter or whatever that works for you. You can even use a knife. Okay, so, and um, spread a little bit more. And then, kind of, and try to roll it tight too. Because I know if you don't roll it tight, then that's when it starts to, I'm going to bring you guys back closer because my, uh, sushi roll here is rolling away <laughs> but I noticed like um, when you don't roll it tight that's when the center is kind of uh, loose and it will you know kind of crumble apart
Now this is the part where I like to, since it's completely rolled over, I like to kind of tuck my paper tight and then grab the inner side and then push back. You can use a knife, you can use uh, anything that has, you can use a ruler, but this is where I like to kind of tighten things up. And then open. All right. And then you want to press your ends in so you have a nice firm loaf. I'm telling you guys, like, I'm some instructor, like, I've done this multiple times. Trust me, I have not. <laughs> so, um, I just hear myself. I'm like, I sound like I'm an instructor. No, not even a little bit. Okay, so sprinkle a little bit more. I'm just telling you guys what I learned as I did my research in bubble bomb making. Okay, and just kind of give it a little rub. Now, I'm going to roll that back over. And sprinkle a little bit more baking soda on both sides. And then we will roll and roll and keep on rolling. Pocket and roll, and I'm sure there are plenty of methods out there way better than what I'm doing, but this is just how I find what works best for me. That's all. Roll it again, and do the same thing. And I just keep doing this until it feels, you know, nice and tight to me. There's no method of how many times you're supposed to do this. This is just what I feel like works for me. I would like to make one of those big old Mondo ones, like um, the comforter from um, Lush. But oh my gosh, can you imagine how much um, of your your ingredients it would take up to make something that big? Okay, so I'm looking like here on the end. And I'm just going to have to keep tightening this. So, instead of boring you guys to death for watching me rolling this over and over again, because I can see my ends are open. I'm going to go ahead and stop and then come back once I get everything tightly rolled, okay? Be back. Alright guys, so I have it as tight as I'm going to get it. And now I'm going to pull this back because it is slightly hanging off the table. Move you guys maybe that way. Yeah, that'll work. And then I'm going to, um, I don't really have, I wish I cut this with my wire cutter because you guys know me and cutting free and always never good okay so there we have it cute time and after you cut it if you want to reshape it you can just kind of roll it around then lay it down and pat and there you have it so that's my bubble bar I'm telling you her recipe just works lovely I do really really like it and I'm glad that I purchased it once again I will put um, the link to her Etsy shop in the section below so for those of you who are struggling with coming up a good with a good recipe for your bubble bars that are firm and just work really nicely then you can most definitely purchase them from her and it's a PDF so um, you can just download it right to your computer and then start you know start making your bubble bars so um let's see if I can get my hook and hair out of the way it's getting caught up on my light, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these. Yeah, I'll do it like that instead. That way you can kind of hold them nice and neat. And then, like, for the little bit that you have from cutting it that comes off, don't worry about that because that can be tucked back in. But I would love to make one of those big Mondo ones like uh, the comforter. But that would take so much product. Oh my goodness gracious. So I'm not ready to do that yet. <laughs> Let's just see how well these sell first. And I tell you every time I start doing something soap related someone calls. <laughs> it's gay but he's going to have to wait until I'm finished. Okay so. Now that I've done that you can actually take your cutter. Or whatever and tuck it back under all the little bits from you cutting it okay so now just take that piece off and then I'll roll it around to reshape it lay it flat 
And here's the thing. I don't actually like that peach that's in there. I thought I did, but I don't. Because it's kind of muted compared to the rest of the colors. Don't you guys think? So, it's still cute. But I like, um... It should have been like a neon... Oh, uh, It was actually, yeah, it was supposed to be a neon orange. And it turned peach. But, oh well. It's still cute. So, yeah. That's pretty much all to it. So, I'm just sitting these off in the corner so they can dry. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean when I say if you got a little edge from cutting. Like that right there, right here. So if you just take it, you can lay it flat. You can actually mold it with your hands if you like. But I like to roll mine on the table. And uh, Two Wild Hairs actually has a YouTube channel too. So if you want to go there, because I actually watched her make her unicorn poo uh, bubble bars. And that's what she did, rolling across the table. So that's where I learned that from. And um, it actually shapes them back up nicely, you see? So, I was going to make another batch tonight, but again, my back is like, I think not. So, <laughs> there won't be any more batches made tonight, but I did make two. I'll show you my um, my first batch here. That purple and white weren't those cute, so they're just a wee bit smaller. And I doubled it this time, so... Maybe next time I'll get braver and do a triple batch. I was actually going to this time, but I said, ah, hold it there. Calm down, Hoss. Don't get too excited. Let's just see how well this worked because I knew I was going to tweak the recipe just a little bit, you know, for me. So, yeah. Okay, if you want to roll that in a straight line, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Alright, guys. So there's no sense in me showing you this over and over again. They all look the same on the inside. If you do like this video of me making bubble bars, please do be sure to give a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. Um, I'm probably going to start making these more and more since now that I have a recipe that actually works. So it's just, that's like a lot of stuff I won't sell because I struggle with it. I'm like, I'm not going to put in all that time and work and, you know, it's just not worth it. But now that I got a recipe that works, and again, I'll be sure to put uh, two wild hairs at the shop information in the section below so you can go over there for those of you who want that rest this recipe um go over there and get it for yourself it is so worth it trust me it is so um that is it guys i'm going to continue to firm shape these up and uh give them a little roll roll and then they'll set up and i'll pack them tomorrow and i will list them and take them to my craft fair with me as well so I love you hugs and kisses be awesome and amazing everything you do don't be afraid to try something new because you never know if you can do it unless you try isn't that right all right guys there you go bye <music>